Protecting your livestock is extremely important. It has to be factored into your perimeter defense plan. Most people, us included, do not have their barns sitting right next to their house. Here's our barn, and you cannot see our house from here. But you can hear the barn from here. Anytime there is any type of intruder around, anybody who's even supposed to be here but not familiar, like family or members of our tribes, the animals let us know. It is also a great idea to keep a pair, not just one, but a pair of livestock guardian dogs around your barn, in your barn. They need to live there since they were pups, train them so that they are familiar with their animals. They know that they are their charges. They are responsible for them. And they will also help ward off not just four-legged predators, but two-legged predators as well. Our barn is situated on an area of our retreat that is as hard to get to as anywhere else here. There's one way in, one way out. Um, maybe one small section in the very back, if somebody's daring enough, could make it with an ATV. But they'd have to really, really want to get here and go through a lot of other rugged terrain to even have a chance at that. So that's an added benefit of our property. The terrain and layout of the property was one of the reasons that we bought it. As you can see, there's an old camper here in front, something we bought cheaply and are fixing up. It's positioned down here next to the chicken coop. Maybe not the most sweet smelling spot to be, but our bird's free range, so it really isn't that bad. And it's situated there and within a good softball throw of the barn. So when the shit does hit the fan, that will be one of the outposts on our property. If you have large acreage, you should consider having multiple of those. Having one near your barn will help protect your livestock and will also let you know if anybody's coming in that area of the property. It's going to be rustic and off grid. There's no electricity going to it, nor my barn. I was always concerned about fire, but there is water there. And also here at the barn, we have motion detector solar lights, motion detector decoys to help keep hawks away trail cams and some of those i don't even know what they're called I think there's a brand called ring that lets you see who's wherever um which those only work as long as you have internet and technology you need to have extra backup batteries and camera chips for your um trail cams batteries for your motion detector lights and parts and things like that um you know, little solar cells i guess with motion detector lights they'll eventually go bad so you can have those types of things as low-tech or off-grid with a little bit of high-tech mixed in for as long as it'll last type of perimeter defense items. You can also go low-tech and put out trip wires near your barn, a piece of fishing line attached to a rat trap and a, a glow stick. You can get those at the Dollar Tree. We'll let you know if anybody trips it. You might not be close enough to hear it, but you should see the glowing at night. There's several different types of low-tech ways that you can help know if somebody is around the goal is never let them this close to your livestock or to your house but you can't think that i've got this great outlying perimeter defense mechanism set up and not go ahead and put a double layer of protection in multiple areas of your property if they get through the first one they should have to get through three or four more before they reach your food source or your animals also food source and a work source and your loved ones 